although I've done a earlier review of this bag, uh, I've gotten several requests to talk about it in a little more detail, especially uh, with some of the modifications that I made. This is the 511 Tactical Covert uh, M4 bag. They now have two. Uh, this is the longer one. The other one is primarily for a short barrel rifle. This one takes a standard uh, AR that has a 16 inch barrel uh, which includes the A2 uh, flash hider and a, and a collapsible stock. It will not take uh, a rifle longer than that of any type. Uh, so this is a standard bag. Uh, it comes in more colors than this now. Uh, I got this a few years ago and I liked it. Uh, I do not carry this slung walking down the street. Uh, this is my transition from my house to my car, from my car to my office or hotel room or wherever else I am. Uh, you're not going to be walking down the street looking gray man with this because you got other stuff to carry. So this is my, uh, I need to carry my rifle and I don't want people worrying that I have a, a rifle. Um, it has two pouches plus a container for the rifle. So let's talk about where the, the rifle container uh, looks like. So this is a rifle compartment. Uh, it is just barely long enough, as I said, to take an AR with a collapsible stock. This is a Magpo collapsible stock and uh, an A2 flash hider on this end. This happens to be my baby, my 50 Beowulf, and yes, that rifle fits in here. However, this does not have a muzzle device on it. If I were to put a flash hider or compensator or uh, anything like that on the end of this barrel, it would not fit in this bag. So it's, if you're thinking about uh, a Beowulf and this bag, you might want to think again. But it does have plenty of room for it in the optic of your choice. Uh, it had a little uh, place here, so I put a, a stock strap just so I could keep it from flopping around in here. So that's the internal compartment. Now the top compartment comes with rows of Velcro hook and loop, and it's also Molly capable. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to carry more ammo to feed the gun. I always like to have as much ammo as I can. So I put these um, 511 Tactical mag pouch holders and molly them in. And there's room for another couple of, of mags uh, up here and it will fit. There's my 460, I mean my 50 Beowulf. I hope that's what I said before, 50 Beowulf. Uh, and it fits in here quite nicely and it zips up. Now where I really needed to do some work on this bag was the bottom compartment. The stock bottom compartment is just a cave you throw stuff in. And I didn't like that. Uh, but it took me a while to figure out well what to do. Because otherwise you just throw stuff in there and it all falls to the bottom. Uh, so, 511 Tactical has this capability, it has this product it's called the Backup Belt System or BBS and it's basically hook and loop based. Um, and so what I did, I got the idea, why don't I, I took the pad out and there was no, no molly, no anything in here. So I took this pad, <laughs> actually out of my 511 Tactical vest, this pad right here, and I use contact cement to fix this to the inside to this material uh, in, the, in this part of the bag. And my idea was to use the backup belt system from 511 Tactile, which includes this uh, panel, a holster, and mag holders, and just Velcro them to this material. I had no idea if it was going to be sturdy enough, if it was going to last enough, but this has been in here now for two years. And I carry this all the time, every day. And what I really liked was that 
the whole this is 511 tactical backup belt system holster it carries my XDS uh, very well nice and tight in here plenty of space and these are mag holders and they'll hold either double stack or single stack uh, so it can carry two extra mags I always carry uh, either or both the double stack and single stack um, mag holders for a belt uh, because I'll need always need more than one in the gun and whichever hold whichever gun I'm carrying I carry a, a holster for it uh, uh, in in the bag as well so that's my strategy and it, you know sometimes I'll throw a light jacket or some gloves or something else in there or I'll throw uh, some targets that I'm going to be shooting, you know, paper targets I'm going to be shooting in there. But this is how I travel around with this. Now I also have an XDM compact. Let me show you how that fits in here, because it does. Uh, before I go on to uh, showing you the XDM uh, compact, let me point out the space you have. Now this is the XDS, and this has the uh, standard five round or six round magazine, a five round magazine in here. I do have a Pierce Grip extension. If I put the extended mag in here, it would still be enough room to hold this gun with the extended mag. But the extended mag does not have a Pierce Grip on it. So, yes, I can carry my XDS just about any configuration I want. Now, if you have any pistol that has one of those optics at the top, you know, like a, anything other than a standard sighting system, it, you're not going to be able to really carry it in here, or you'll have to figure something else out in terms of a holster. Now, I wanted to show you, uh, this is the XDM Compact 45, uh, and this has the 460 Roland conversion on it, so basically I'm carrying around a 44 Magnum pistol which I really like this gun. So 50 caliber rifle, 44 caliber gun, and it's pretty good. But pay attention to the grip. When you use the extended grip, it is too long to fit inside this bag. So what you really need to do, if you're going to store uh, a full size pistol, you're probably not going to be able to fit that into this bag. Most compact pistols should, uh, but you need to kind of figure that out uh, for yourself. Or move this farther back and have a different strategy for uh, magazines uh, if you do something differently. Now with the standard magazine in the pistol, I also have a pierce grip on it. It fits perfectly inside this, this uh, uh, configuration as well. So this is the modification that I did on this bag and I wish 511 would do the same thing. I wish they would actually productize this idea, at least put a backup belt or some Velcro capability inside this bag so it would give you um, more flexibility in, in the kind of things you could carry rather than throw a bunch of junk in the bottom. So that's my new uh, update to this uh, 511 Tactical Covert uh, bag, and I hope uh, you guys like it. Heck, send 511 some, some love letters. Tell them they need to do this. As always, thanks for watching. Carry on.